Greetings trackers, Bear Tracker Nature Films here, and today we're looking at acorns sitting on top of a log, and I wanted to tell you how this is a, a clue to an animal. Um, so one thing to notice about these acorns right off is that they're dirty on the outside. This is all dirt. See that? Now, if they're dirty, that probably means they were in the ground and not directly taken from a tree, right? So that's one clue. And if you know about the animals in the area, you realize that one animal that, in particular that buries nuts is the squirrel. In this particular case, the western gray squirrel, um, in the fall, takes acorns that fall from the tan oak trees here and buries them for storage for winter food source. So, these acorns obviously show signs that they have been buried because they're covered with dirt. So there's one clue. The other clue is the placement on top of this log here. Uh, when the squirrels bury them, obviously they're in the ground, but when they take them out, they often take them to a perch and sit on top of it. It could be a stump or a log or a branch, and they'll sit on top of it and consume their food while they're looking around. So that's another clue. The other clue is, if you look here, on the uh, acorn here, look right here, and here, and there, you can see incisor marks from the teeth of the squirrel. So you can also see it right here on this acorn. Um, so these little scratch marks came from the teeth. So what the squirrel did is held this acorn and bit it open to get to the nut that was inside. This is just the shell that's been left behind. So these clues right here tell you this was opened by a squirrel and not a bird. If it was a bird, they use their beak, which is the tool that they use, and they'll bang a hole in it, and you'll oftentimes see um, a hole or a little roundish mark that looks like an impact mark. So the clues here tell you that this acorn had been stored in the ground, and that a squirrel dug it up, brought it up to this perch, bit it open, and consumed the nut. So there you have an entire story based on pieces of acorn shell found on top of a log. And that's the fun thing about tracking, is that you can put together stories and learn more about the uh, life cycle or the, uh, the natural history of all the animals that live out here. So, I hope you've enjoyed this little natural history lesson and how it relates to tracking.